So today I'm talking about a Kia with the P0448 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Kia P0448 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission control system, vent control circuit, shorted. And what does this mean? Well, modern cars have an EVAP system that helps contain all the gas vapors inside the gas tank and they get sent back into the engine and get burnt off. And the onboard computer seen a problem with this, so I have to be troubleshooting, no why. And the most common cause of a Kia with the P0448 code is gonna be a vent valve, charcoal canister, the vent valve wiring, or possibly a blown fuse. And it's also possible that it's these other things, but usually if it's these things, you'll get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, you might wanna examine those to see what's going on. Sometimes one thing fails and it could cause something else to fail. But if you're only getting the P0448 code, then it's very likely gonna be something to do with the vent valve. And so the first thing to do when you get a P0448 code is gonna to be to locate the vent valve. And it's gonna be up and underneath by the gas tank somewhere. And it's gonna be located next to what they call the charcoal canister. And the valve could be a part of the charcoal canister or it could be separate. Quite commonly, it is built into the charcoal canister. So for example, right here, this is a 2005 Kia Sedona and it's built into the charcoal canister. You have to remove the charcoal canister and then it's in, in the back. You'll be able to spot it, it'll be right there. And on this particular Kia, it's separate. So here's the vent valve and the charcoal canister is right after it right here. And so they can't be separate in some cases, but quite commonly it is built in to the charcoal canister. Either way, it's gonna be by the charcoal canister somewhere. And so the first thing to do is locate the vent valve on your year and model of Kia. And so once you locate it, the next thing to do is to check out this wiring. Since since this is point to an issue with the wiring, you're gonna to wanna to check out this wiring and be sure there's no opens or shorts in it. You're gonna to wanna to check out this plug, be sure it's plugged in all the way. And be aware this is usually on a fuse. So you wanna check for any blowing fuses in your fuse boxes and be sure those are all good. And so once you check out the wiring and if that all looks good and there's no open shorts or anything like that, no blowing fuses, then the next thing to do is to check out this vent valve. And there's some different ways you could do tests on it if you wanted to. For example, if you have a good OBD2 scan tool, Quite often they have an option inside of there that'll enable it. And when you when you enable it, you can hear it click and that usually indicates that it's working. There's also some other methods you go about using to test it if you wanted to. There's some YouTube videos on that if you want to check that out. But the next thing to do is either test or replace this vent valve. And most people would go ahead and replace it since it's a low cost part. I'll jump over on Amazon, give you an idea how much they're costing right now. They range around $55, $27, $49, so around $50 or so. They're not hugely expensive parts. But like I said, you can't test it if you wanted to. But if you check out all the wiring and that all looks good, there's no opens or shorts in it, no blowing fuses, this harness is all connected good then very likely at that point, that vent valve has gone bad. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Kia with the P0448 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.